we are at uh, FMBB uh, World Championship 2017. We are uh, with Christian Erb. Hello. Hello. Uh, he is a part of the organization uh, of the modeling competition. Uh, modeling will start in uh, Wednesday and it will last until uh, Sunday. Uh, hello, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. A little bit sick because <laughs> of this cold weather, the last yeah, couple the of days changing. and training and all these things. So, but yeah. so good. Good. Uh, so we are in uh, Sale or Halle? Halle, Halle, good. Sale, yeah. Good. Um, do you live near here or? Oh, I live about four hours driving. That means at least uh, 350, 380 kilometers from here in Bavaria. Mm -hmm. It's the south of Germany. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's uh, where your club is in Straubing. Yes, correct. Nice. Yeah. Uh, since uh, since how many years you have this club? Well, the club itself, I have it at least uh, nearly 10 years. 10 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, since when you started monitoring? I started monitoring in 2004. So 13 years before. Yeah. Okay, and you started with a Doberman, no? Correct, yeah. How come? It oh, it's, it's a long story. Uh, um, I uh, always wanted to have a Doberman. My parents uh, always had dogs, but German Shepherds. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I always uh, had spent my time, uh, a lot of my time with the dogs, but not on the dog training field, it was just normal house mm -hmm. dogs. And uh, yeah, then you grow up, you know, and then uh, something else is more important. And then after a while, I was always a fan of a Doberman. And mm -hmm. uh, after a while, when I, have my, when I rented my first house, uh, then I had a look on the internet, where mm -hmm. can I buy a Doberman? Uh, just want to have a Doberman. Nothing like to a do. Dog. Yeah, there's nothing to do with with dog sports sport or, or okay. just just Doberman. Okay. Uh, then, well, how old were you when you got it? Uh, it was in uh, 2003. I got 2003. It. So I got this Doberman. I got it from Austria mm -hmm. and uh, brought him to Germany. And after a while, when the dog was 10 weeks or so, mm -hmm. uh, I thought, okay, perhaps we should do a little bit training with him, you know, I just check the internet, what we can do, and I had, I've never seen IPO or, or something else before, mm -hmm. and then I contacted uh, a friend of mine, he was a hunter, and uh, had always uh, to do a lot of uh, uh, things with dogs, and I, mm -hmm. I, I know this, and then we, he took me to an IPO field, you know, mm -hmm. but a small, small club around, about, around Straubing, and then I started my first lessons with food and a little bit playing mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. So your very first dog was a Doberman? Doberman, yeah. But before you had, uh, as a family, you had dogs, uh, German Shepherds? Yeah, but my, my parents had the German parents. Shepherds. Okay. Not, not, uh, my own first dog was a Doberman. So, uh, just to start, before we start about uh, the dogs, uh, you were born in Star Straubig? Or? Yes. Ah, so you're from yeah. Straubig, okay. Yes. And you still uh, live there? Yeah. Good. And the club was in Straubig that you started first? Yeah. In That's Israel. my club, it's my own club. Uh, okay. you, you mean the, the, the IPO club? Yeah, <laughs> yes. it's close, 15 kilometers away from Straubig. Okay, yeah, so. good. Uh, so you got uh, this Doberman, mm -hmm. a female or a male? Male. Male, okay. And uh, how you got into monitoring? Because back then, was it monitoring in Germany? Yeah, it was uh, it's a little bit difficult. Um, when the, the Doberman grew, grew up and was half a year or so, the IPO guys took me to a an, an small IPO competition. Mm -hmm. uh, they want me to see how a competition looks like, not only the training. Mm -hmm. eh? And uh, I looked at this competition and it was very small, I just left it. Local competition. Five or six dogs, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. But uh, for me, I saw this and uh, uh, after an hour I was sure that this is not my sport I want to do. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Why? Why was that? It was... What you didn't like um, in EPO? For, for me, it's the training, it's always the same, you know? Mm -hmm. Then going 10 feet there and then turn right, turn left. All, all these things mm -hmm. always the same and uh, for an absolute beginner and, and uh, never seen any dog sports mm -hmm. you know and just have a half a year of seen training mm -hmm. for me it was boring after one hour yeah? okay. so uh, no so uh, I want to do more more uh, more, act more active more more more, more variant. uh, variants more life you mm -hmm. know closer to, to normal life circumstances, life circumstances okay. correct. And how old was the Doberman then? Yeah, close to six months. Six it months. was in ah, winter. It was, early, early. It okay. was in winter, yeah. And then a friend of mine got uh, as a uh, Christmas present from his parents. He got the video uh, dances with Malina. Okay. 
we saw this NVBK sports mm -hmm. and we were sitting there. In Hoboken, I think it was a video of this. Please, say it again. In Hoboken Club, I think it yeah. was this video. Yeah, yeah correct. Okay. The comment uh, was Bart Bellon. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw this video and we looked to each other and said, hey, that is what we want to do. This looks good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then we we started. We we, we bought a nine millimeter revolver. Hmm. We we bought. Ah, so you started uh, with a gun. Yeah, <laughs> okay. we bought a few uh, a few Budas, uh, uh, manchets, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this friend of mine uh, has um, um, has a lot of horses at home. A lot of horses. Horses, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. and a big field directly close to the house. Mm -hmm. And then we, over there we started training. NVBK okay. training. Ah, so you started in, from NVBK, let's say. Like yeah, we missed, the, we missed, we missed okay. the exercises. We're yes. just doing the obedience a little mm -hmm, bit. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the minute down with, with different noises and everything, mm -hmm. and food refusal, and healing, and apart everything, uh, but without knowing the reglement. Mm -hmm. So since then, you didn't have any contact with the ring people? Correct. Correct. Okay. Just what okay. we have seen on the videos or on the internet. Yeah? And uh, your friend is still is still uh, competes or still, uh, no no uh, he's he's, uh, he's uh, just uh, training hunting dogs. Okay, and so he's a horses. normal guy. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. And after that, uh, we started to train, uh, let's say, the ring stuff on the IPO field. Huh? Mm -hmm. had, the normal training was during the week, and then the, this old IPO guys they look to this post guys are crazy. Huh? This is a Doberman. They want to do this stuff. Or uh, oh, let them do. Let them do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we, we started uh, to train with just big Buddhas and a 9mm revolver on the mm -hmm. IPO field, you know, and that's and the Doberman was good, mm -hmm. no problem. You, you competed also in the World Championship? Yes, yes. With, with plates? Place? Fourth. Fourth First place. First place in level 1 in 2008. Yes. It was a really big achievement for a Doberman to reach this level. Yeah, and... And for me it's really important that, uh, of course, some breeds are bred for some sports. Ring sport is for Malinois, but still, it's really important that the other working breeds. Uh, it's really important that they ha they are worked. Yeah, and you have to in keep in mind that this Doberman was bought just for a normal house dog. Yeah? Yes. It was not no special looking for breeding or special for bloodlines, looking for bloodlines, something like that. Yes. No, so by luck. Uh, yeah, yeah by luck. Dog Doberman. But this also shows you that perhaps we can we cannot be, let's say, world championship. Uh, 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 first World Championships level three with a Doberman, but you can uh, you can achieve something Even also if yeah. you have no Malina. Yes, work. Yeah, work it's just training, amazing. training, yes. thinkings, and I learned a lot with this Doberman because later on I trained with uh, uh, the Malina guys mm -hmm. before I get my first Malina, and then uh, you have to to think and switch a little bit, yeah, yes. because you cannot train a Doberman like a Malina. Yes, and also I see that. Uh, Many dog trainers that they only uh, trained uh, Malinois, uh, it's often that they have difficulties training other breeds. Yeah. Okay, in high level it's difficult to bring other breeds, but still it's a different kind of mentality in the yeah. dogs. I would say also perhaps a lot of uh, uh, trainers can only achieve very, very good results with a special type of, of dog, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. even if it's a Malinois, but with a special type of bloodline perhaps. Eh? Yes. They need this bloodline because their mm -hmm. training system fits on this. Okay, so, <coughs> uh, sorry, so uh, with your Doberman you started competing in which age of the dog? The Doberman was four, four, four. years old, yeah. Uh, you started in local competition? Yeah, so local was competition. So when, was, when was your the first, first competition? first competition was, um, uh, it was not official to this time in Austria, mm -hmm. but they do the competitions like it was official with yes, yes. official judges and official uh, decoys, but you can. It was uh, recorded you know, in the book. But not recorded in the book. And I did my first competition in Austria mm -hmm. with the Doberman. What what uh, year was that? Uh, it was 2007. 2007. Yeah. Ten years before. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. And my first competition, I know it very well, and I always tell uh, the the new guys which come to my club. I was there on a Friday afternoon and I was could not sleep the, the whole night <laughs> yeah, and I was there standing at the fence of the field at least from five o'clock in the morning until the judge arrived at eight or so and just thinking oh, what could they do and then and, and thinking about the program but after that I took the first place with 197 points. 97? Yeah. Crazy. And, so your first and, two, points, and was... two points I, uh, I uh, st no. stole the over. 
because he lost one for chewing mm -hmm. and I lost uh, two in the obedience because one was, I think, a parkour mistake on the healing and something. Chewing in the bite cork or in the apport? No, apport. Ah, they were taking back then points for chewing. Nice. So, uh, with this Doberman, how many competitions did you run? Oh. Poor. Oh. 15 or so? Ah, a lot. Yeah. A lot. And when you changed to the other breed? Uh, my female was born in 2005. Then I got the Malina female. Mm -hmm. From? Uh, it was um, um, uh, breeding without pedigree and then we do a registration. Okay, nice. Uh, so it was from uh, Belgium or Holland? Uh, or? Mixed, it was a Belgium mixed with French lines. Okay, good. And uh, which level you reached with here? Uh, it's level 3. Level 3. And level you competed in the World Champions? Yes. With? With what the that? Uh, I competed in Cottbus, uh, 7th place, level 3. Mm -hmm. And I competed in Newport also, but it was not so good because uh, she was she was sick, had and broken teeth. Finger. And, and so uh, she could not jump so good. Mm -hmm. Jumps, the, the normal jumps, if you have monitoring, it was fine, but uh, she never, she not took the obstacle and the stick attack and then uh, okay, that's, okay. that's your dad. Okay. And now, how many dogs do you have? Now I have two dogs. I have my old female mm -hmm. and uh, I have a new one. He's three years old, but... A ma male? A male, yeah, mm -hmm. but... From? Uh, from Belgium. Belgium. But uh, it's just for, for, for fun training a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I lost a little bit of motivation after my, my uh, male yeah, before died so young. So, but I bought this dog I have now. Mm -hmm. But I did not train him in the in the beginning, so and you know if you don't train at the beginning a lot, so you have to yes, do yes. extra things, extra things, and so. Yeah. Okay, and uh, when do you plan, or uh, do you plan to compete again in? Yeah, I think I will. I will uh, looking. I will look for a new dog uh, this summer. Mm -hmm. So and we will see what's on the market. I wish you the best. Thank you. Uh, good. Uh, also, you are also a judge. Yes. Okay, Correct. and since? Uh, since 2014. So three years now. Yeah. And how many competi uh, competitions have you judged? I judged at least four, six, seven six competitions. A lot. In three years, a lot. And uh, have you judged the big competition or not yet? Uh, I judged the uh, uh, Czech Championship. Czech and, champ I, mm -hmm. and I will do the Czech Championship, the Austrian Championship and the German Championship this year. Okay. And you were about to do also the FMVB also? Um, this I don't want to talk about. That. Okay, good. You started from the idea of MVBK and then you turned uh, seriously, let's say, into monitoring. Yes. Um, how do you think monitoring is today from the program and the whole uh, spirit? I think we lost a little bit the monitoring spirit the last couple of years. Why? Um, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, First of all, uh, how you mean we lost? That? Um, when I started monitoring, um, it was always, let's say, a big festival. Mm -hmm. Each competition you go was a big festival. Mm -hmm. And all the guys are friendly to another. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody knew everybody. So you go in with your dog to the competition. And everybody knows. Today you can be world champion. Tomorrow next last one. next month you can be lost in a, at a normal mm -hmm. local competition because that's one yes. you know. So you're not at IPO, mm -hmm. and and all this this uh, let's say this big family mm -hmm. was lost the last couple of years, I think, because. Uh, a lot of guys are coming into the sports. For sure, it's good for the sport. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm not sure if all of all these guys uh, have the the, the monitoring idea mm -hmm. in their mind. In their mind. So the relations between monitoring people, you say, it's changed since last year. I, since I would not say the relation. Uh, there was never a, a relation. Okay. Because when I when I uh, uh, started to go to monitoring competitions. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, I started to, to talk to these guys, to, to Swiss guys, to Belgium guys, to French guys, to mm -hmm. and, and they introduced me and it was, hey, come on, let's drink a beer and mm -hmm. have a talk also in the evening. Yes. So, and now when you, when you see the competitions at 
Saturday, 7 o'clock in the evening, competition is empty. Nobody's sitting there. But, and this is, when, when we do a competition at our place in Straubing, I have an eye on that, that mm -hmm. the, the visitors are more or less included in, into the field. In the I, 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 yeah, I, I, I put the, the visitors with, a, with a, like a new into the, into the field, you mm -hmm. know. So, uh, and it's very, very sm small and close mm -hmm. together, so they have to sit together. Mm -hmm. And then they start talking and they start drinking, perhaps a beer together, and then, and, and you have a an, an, an completely uh, a, a different view to that. Mm -hmm. And when we do a competition in Straubing, they sit at least from, uh, they, they, they come on a Friday afternoon and then they, they, the, the level three guys which competing on, on Sunday, they sit from Friday afternoon, late afternoon until Saturday morning uh, with a beer together and have a festival. And nice. this is the spirit of monitoring. In and, my it opinion. Comes, I, and I think it comes from the spirit of MVBK this. Yeah. Because MVBK yes. I think still is, uh, uh, <coughs> compared to other sports, MVBK is still like a family, let's say. The competitions are smaller and they, yes, except uh, the, let's say, the festive uh, feeling that is missing uh, from your saying in monitoring. Uh, what do you think of the program of monitoring? When I started monitoring, uh, I, do, I did a lot of competitions in Swiss and in Switzerland you were never allowed to enter the field the day before to the training on the field mm -hmm. and on the end. And this is also for me, it's uh, something to do with the spirit of monitoring. And yeah, that's, the reality is that normally we see that now that in a lot of competitions, people go inside the field yes. and they can train, yeah. even without obstacles, but still, yeah. it's out of the spirit of monitoring. For sure, if you have an absolutely newcomer first competition and, 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 uh, yes, he should have the motivation and he can mm -hmm. should train on the field. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense, yeah, because it gives gives him a little bit more stability, mm -hmm. the handler, and and and. But on a certain point, you should be honest to yourself mm -hmm. and say, okay, now on a world championship, FMBB or FCI, I cannot go on the field and train. And I always did it like that. And even with a young dog, I also go on the field and train. But when it goes to level two, level three, and even for qualification for a world championship, um, I did competitions. Even if you are allowed to go on the field, I go. I did not go on the field because mm -hmm. I want to see what really happens. Okay, so you have a better uh, image about yeah. what, where yeah. your dog and is. Yeah, you know, you know where you are standing. You know what you have to train. Yes. So True. what what uh, what training impressions? Uh, should I get when I go on the on the field and there's all the apport obstacles are there, uh, the jumps are there, the, the everything is there. Yeah, the whole. Uh, I can, then uh, I can. Yes. I should. I must not compete. I can train there. Yes. No. So. Yeah. True. Now you have a, the young dog. You have is a Malina from Belgium. From Belgium. Yeah. Belgian lines or. Yeah, Belgium lines. Okay. Uh, I guess you are a fan of Belgian lines yes, for modeling. Yeah. Okay. Um, Last time uh, we had some, uh, let's say, incidents about uh, uh, FCI blocking some uh, breeding lines, mm -hmm. but then they uh, re refused it. Yes. Uh, what do you think of that? I mean, wh why do you think there is the need of uh, entering new uh, bloodlines in the FCI pedigrees? New, not new, but you know, lines outside I know what of the you, I FCI. Know, I know what you mean. <coughs> I mean, is, is it really useful that or? It's a fashion people do it I or? Should, I think, I think this, this question is answered by itself, isn't it? So let's, let's turn it around a little bit. Why do the breeders Need the use these lines? They for sure they use it not because they are bad, huh? Yes. So now we have the answer. Yes. So you think it's a bad idea to block some uh, lines that they... Because now you cannot uh, enter new dogs, for example. Yeah. New blood lines. Like what you did with your Doberman. With your Malinois, yeah. sorry. So, do you think this is good or bad? Closing, let's I, say, the, the, the I'm, gate. You know, I'm not, I'm not a breeder. Yeah? And I am not an official in a kennel club or whatever. Yes, yes, I just uh, take I it from the sportive a, side, a yeah, yes. as a sportsman. 
And as a sportsman, I always want to have the best dog, healthy and best what I can get. Okay. So, if we look to certain sports, if it's even if it's NVBK, venturing, monitoring, whatever, mm -hmm. we should use the best of the, the best. best dogs from that. And even the best breeding dog is not always the best sport dog. Mm -hmm. True. That's my opinion. In my opinion, f to have a good sport dog, you need an extreme breeding dog. Mm -hmm. Male and female. Female, mm -hmm. for me, always, they, 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 when I see it, they always talk about the males. Sure, but don't forget the female. For me, the female is much more important. Mm -hmm. And this is also a thing I learned in Belgium. From Belgium breeders. Yeah. And now, uh, in Germany, how many, first of all, at your club, how many people you have now? At my club, um, yeah, we are a little bit uh, multicultural, let's say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I train uh, uh, a few German guys mm -hmm. train with me, a few Austrian guys train with me. Yes, at least, oh, we, have, we have 15, something uh, like that. A lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people. But we, we are not always training, the whole team does mm -hmm. not train, let's Together. say the whole team, even the Austrian have, the Austrians have their own team with Klaus okay, Angerer okay. and uh, with Roman. We are not training always all together mm -hmm. because we find, we find that we cannot work mm -hmm. all yeah, these yeah, dogs. Yeah. Yeah. So work. let's say Klaus sometimes comes over or I go, Klaus Angerer, right? Klaus Angerer and I go sometimes to go to Klaus or go to Roman and then uh, Daniel Kaminski and Distance mm -hmm. uh, uh, Michael so Klaus come to my place. So you have cooperations with other clubs? Please say it again? You have uh, cooperations yes, with other yes, clubs. Yes. Oh, this is really nice to hear because yes. we can see, uh, we have it in Greece also, but in all over the world I see and I hear that clubs are, have big difficulties cooperating between each other which is something I can understand because of the human relations. But on the other hand, it's a really... Oh, but we have the same in Germany also, so... Yeah, yeah it's, I it's guess. Everywhere. So. It's everywhere. So in Germany, how many clubs do you have? Who? Of Mondrian, yeah? How many clubs? Oh. I mean, that they are competitive. They compete. Four, perhaps five. A lot. Well, something like that. A lot. In which cities? Oh, we have we have Straubing, we have uh, one in Hessen, I think one we have in Northern Westfalen. But it's you know Germany is big, yeah. And uh, mm. from from my place, it's at least 500 kilometers minimum oh, to right. go. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. But yeah, also yeah. Christian Stivin, for mm -hmm. example, yes. comes to my club to train, and one way trip is 550 kilometers. He always comes on a Friday afternoon and then we train Friday afternoon, we train whole Saturday and uh, Sunday until early afternoon and then he goes okay. home. But it's really important that uh, people using other fields and other yes. decoys, it's really important for the dogs. And this is something we miss in Greece, in Mondoring. Uh, what do you think about uh, the tendency of uh, the clubs and uh, the dog world uh, to soften the dog spots, to make it easier for the dogs, to make it not so so they call it stressful for the dogs. What is your opinion in that? They see, uh, they, they did it already in the past and... They continue doing it. Yeah, and they continue doing it and now we come again to the question, why do they use dogs from other sports? Perhaps not FCE recognized sports. Mm -hmm. So you think this is uh, connected? Yeah. Okay. I think, I think if we, if we, uh, put the hardness away from the program, we will lose the quality. The quality. Yeah. And you can, and that's why you can see in uh, KMPV or MVBK that there are some kind of protected because they are outside of the... Yeah, but it was also a discussion in the NVBK to make, uh, you can also, you can hear it in the comments from Bart Belon mm -hmm. at the first videos from NVBK that they uh, had an idea to shorten the, the, the jumps end and end. Mm -hmm. It was not realized, but Yes. It was also in the mind. In the mind. <coughs> so back uh, back to the program of monitoring we were talking before. Uh, you said before that there are differences between the past and the and now. Yeah. So which are the, these differences? Uh, the the differences are first of all you have to say that the the, uh, the quality of the uh, of the dog trainers are, it's getting better and better and better. Mm -hmm. yeah? So you see when you look at an at an healing of monitoring. 10 years ago, and you look at it now, for an healing 10 years ago, which you got 10 years ago, full points, 
perhaps you will have this time you will have one point or so left yeah? mm -hmm. because the trainers get better the the, uh, the training systems get better and yes. better go to seminars and everything yeah mm -hmm. and then you see that the the judges uh, do the 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 exercises a little bit more let's say they think it's harder but for me sometimes let's let's say an, an example the defense yeah? the defense of the handler and they do it so hard for the dog that even the dog cannot see the the, the decoy who does the aggression on the handler but this has nothing to do with defense hmm. And this is a big, big, big difference from uh, from the FMBK uh, Yeah, the idea. Nine, I do not always compare with with FMB, uh, with, M with, with MBBK. Uh, it's just what I want to see is mm -hmm. we are talking about the defense of a handler, that the dog protects his handler, right? Yes. And how should the dog protect the his handler handler? when the dog could not see the the real the aggressor? So. This is what I'm uh, always thinking about when I do a program and mm -hmm. I am a judge. As a judge, mm -hmm. so you can you can uh, you can steal, let's say, steal the points. Yes. Uh, much more easier. Yes. Yeah. And that's why you can see uh, modern trainers in monitoring. They are, let's say, for me, they are forced to use some signals, which is normally out of the rules, but they have to do it because they have to help their dog do the program. Else. It's yeah, but, but if you, let's say, if you are a, an, an handler, a decoy and a judge, that's the big advantage of that guy, huh? you know? Yes. So, you know, you How? train the dogs, perhaps different dogs, mm -hmm. and then you say, okay, I do some, perhaps I do a, a defense where you cannot use the signal. Yes. Then... Problem. Yeah, problem. But still... Yeah. If the defense is too much, and I think the problem with defense is that uh, the dogs that they are uh, with the new type of defenses, let's say, is that dogs that they are not so hyper active, they don't bite, and the dogs that are getting too hyper active, they bite too early. So it's really difficult to handle their psychological. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, but you can you can do uh, you can do a harder competition, uh, even uh, let's say you do a. Yeah, but you have to have ideas, you know. Yes. Not put this stupid tent as an as an blind. Use something different, eh? Yes. And uh, uh, for example, at our last competition in Straubing, uh, I had really, really hard thinkings of how can I do a real blind, real hard. And then I built a wooden house, three on three meters, mm -hmm. and the floor of the house was 80 centimeters away from the ground. And then was a normal ramp and a door where the decoy goes in, but the door was closed. And then we, we cut out a hole of the floor of the house, one meter by one meter. Mm -hmm. And so the dog has to go under the house and it was completely black inside, complete dark. And the dog has jumped from going under the floor mm -hmm. and jump into the dark. When we tried it at home, it was too hard. Even not our Did level, no level dog three do dogs. No, no one yes. did find it. But it, it's normal. If yeah, you compete but, but then we used, then we used it not on the competition. We used yes. this blind, but we used it not with the yeah. hole in the floor. We mm -hmm. let it open, no problem. But we opened the door also like yeah, that. Yes. So the dogs goes in, and we had ten level three dogs, and I think two of the level three dogs found the decoy. But it's normal. If if you compete in uh, like let's say ten competitions, and in nine out of ten competitions you have the APO blinds. But Why should you force your training to be more Yeah, you're, you're, you're right, eh? you're right, you're right, you're right. But that, then we are back at the spirit of monitoring. Yes. That was, was, these things shifted me to monitoring. Because yes. you had, can have so much ideas which you can bring into and the training. When we started yes. training, let's say, uh, the real monitoring training with all the knowledge we have, let's say, seven, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. We made, we had a calendar on the wall mm -hmm. and we put the names in every week, one other name. and. To this date, okay, let's say on the 10th of February, there was my name and I have to bring an, uh, a port nice. thing, a new one. And uh, the other has to bring, the next one has to bring a new blind and the next one has to bring and, and, and so, yes. or for the minute or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. And then you will have, after one year... Dogs with a big image and uh, yes, true. And 
and then you can com combine things together, end and end. Yes. And I think this is a, a big part of the magic of the sport. Yes, you can do so I many mean, things. You can you play think, with, with everything. Water, and, yes. With water, with noises, with, with everything. Where are all these, these accessories? Yes. And when I do a competition, I uh, uh, do always only every two years because I need two years to think about what we can use, what, what did we have not in the past. Mm or 10 years ago, or I look old NVBK videos, old French ring videos, yes. what did they do, end and end. Do you think that, uh, because also the, the decoy uh, work in monitoring is changing yes. during the years, uh, do you like it or you don't like it? It, it? it goes, for me, near to the French ring type of decoying, more than it was before at least. Do you agree with that, you, you like it or? No, I don't like it. And when I, to be honest, when when I started with this monitoring, when I, to say some names, you have Tikuti because you have Schulgerk, you have Tom Andrikowski, mm -hmm. Patrick Korpoto mm -hmm. from the World Championship. Just these three names. Yes. And Schuakim, for work. example. Yeah. And then you see other decoys, and. But this, the, the other decoys brings uh, a lot of points, eh? and but someday we will have this, let's say, old school decoys again, the decoys which can read the dogs. Mm -hmm. They must not be out of the of the rules oh, are, to, yes. to take the points. Yes. But we need decoys who can read the dogs and feel and feel have the feeling, the correct feeling, and. If you train like that, mm -hmm. for sure you will have the points. Perhaps you will have uh, not the points on uh, on the other decoys, on the let's say the softer decoys, mm -hmm. because if you have a strong dog, the out will be bad, or so something yes. like that on the soft decoys, you know. And perhaps on the option guarding, the dog comes too early mm -hmm. on these decoys and mm -hmm. things like that. But at the end of the day, everybody wants to be world champion, right? So and on the world championship, they normally should be the best decoys we have. Yes. And if we have this decoys, then you will play good points with a uh, top trained on uh, this decoys. Okay. That's good. Okay, good. Christian, do you have any, what, what are your plans for the future in dog sports, in monitoring and in dogs in general? Yeah, first of all, I want to be back on the field mm -hmm. with a new dog. As a competitor? As a competitor. Yeah. For, for sure, judging is, is interesting, but uh, for me, it's more fun uh, to be a handler on the field. And hopefully I get a an, an, an good one this summer mm -hmm. and uh, start training again with, so all the, with all my, my friends, my Austrian friends, my German friends, with all the, the guys from Straubing. Perfect. And yeah, if we, can, if we can bring one like we had in the past. Good. I wish you the best. Thank you very much. Uh, just now that uh, we, we are now in the field of the monitoring that will happen in FMBB 2017. Yeah. Um, the organization until now seems great. Uh, the field seems really beautiful also. Um, how do you think the competition will be? Yeah, first of all, I hope that we will have no accidents, no, no uh, decoy accidents, no dog accidents. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Here, not only monitoring for sure at the IPO and so also, mm -hmm. but with the IPO things I'm not so used to, so I'm, uh, I don't know how... You're not so familiar, uh, like in monitoring. Uh, but here in monitoring, you know, it's always something can happen with um, the fleas and all this yes. stuff. Perhaps the decoy uh, can hurt, so I hope all the best. Good. I think we have we have choose good decoys. Yes, the decoys are really good. Uh, and yeah, and hopefully the decoys they, the decoys who start the level three program mm -hmm. can end it also. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of dogs here. Yes, nearly 100 uh, competitors. Eh? Yes, in monitoring. Yeah, in all, like 30 to 35 in yeah. Yeah, each category. Good. Uh, I would like to thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, in the information of the video, uh, you can uh, find uh, uh, the link to Christian Herb uh, website. Yes. Okay. Uh, so it's a w, uh, 3w uh, mrg um, minus minus uh, sr 
DE. Yes. Correct. Good. Um, thank you very much. You're welcome. It was really nice meeting you and thank talking you. to you. And uh, I hope we meet in the field. Yeah, the and I hope we meet in Greece also some. We will for yeah. sure. We will for sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Surfing. That's all we wanna do.